Hey VC, this is Kat. Um, so I got a stack of metal stuff to show. Um, CDs, books, DVDs, or not DVDs, VHS, records, stuff. Let's go. So to start with, um, I'm going to start with uh, cassettes. And I got cherry pie, warrant cherry pie. Ooh, I'm so happy I got this. But the thing is, is I really want it on vinyl, and it's like so hard to find on vinyl. It's like Thriller Michael Jackson, you just can never see it. But I got it on cassette, and it's really good condition, so yay! Um, the next thing I got here is Dangerous Toys and this is Hellacious Acres. I really really want some of the Dangerous Toys on, on vinyl. I can find them all day long on C uh, CD or on cassette and actually have uh, another Dangerous Toys here on cassette. This is just their self-titled but I also have it on DVD or on CD. Why do I keep saying that? On CD. So I got it on CD and cassette. Um, but I really want it on vinyl, so somebody hook me up. I say like, I can't find it here, nowhere. Um, anyway, love dangerous toys, sleazy, rough, riding, dirty, gritty metal, and it's beautiful, and I love it. So that's that. Um, Next CD I have here is Armored Saint, and this one is called Revelation. I've never seen this one before, so I really don't know what it sounds like, but um, it'll be going in my car so I can spin it in my car, so yay. Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased to get some Armored Saint on CD. Uh, next I got Striper in the beginning on VHS. Yes, I still watch VHS. VHS. This is like really is like in the beginning. Like in the beginning of Striper. <laughs> um, anyway, this has got Calling on You and Free and Honestly and it's a concert and I'm so intrigued. <laughs> um, so the next thing I got here is this is called Dirty Rocker Voice, and I know you all know her. Speaking of uh, Cherry Pie, right? Yeah, she's the girl, Bobby Brown from Cherry Pie Video. Um, she ended up marrying Janie Lane, the lead singer of Warrant, and this book is written by her, and it is. I read this book in two days. It's an amazing book. Please pick it up and read it. It's got stories in here that I don't think anyone ever knew. So, anyway, this is called Dirty Rocker Boys, Love and Lust on Sunset Strip. It's Bobby Brown. Read it. It's good. Seriously good. Um, next book I got here is Sound of the Beast. This is the complete headbanging history of heavy metal. And it's got bands in here, wasp and pictures of different metal bands. I guess you can see it better this way. Huh? So it's like an encyclopedia, I guess, of a uh, metal band. That's cool. Um, and then the next book I have here is The Dirt. I sh showed this in another video. I have completely read this. This too is a very, very, very good book. Um, it's got great pictures in it. And it's a very fun read. So, you know, I love Motley Crue. They're one of my fave, fave, faves. Very, very good. I still have, I read Nikki's book, I still have Tommy's book to read and Nick's, uh, Vince's book to read. But, that's a good one. 
a very good one. Uh, next thing I got is a pen. I found these at an antique store um, downtown where I live. It's Lita Ford. This one is Wasp. I picked these up for a buck a piece. Europe. I couldn't believe when I seen them. I was like, what? These are like the original ones too. White Snake. So I couldn't pass them up for nothing. Bullet Boys. And Britney Fox. So that was fun. Flipping through all those pins. Trying to find my, my favorite band. My I was 15. <laughs> Next I got uh, magazines. I know I've showed magazines in prior videos that I've made. Well, you know, I had to pick up this one. Um, Motley Crue with Vince on the cover. And I adore that picture. So I've seen it in other magazines advertising for this magazine. And when I saw the magazine, I was like, uh, yeah, coming home with me. And it's got some good stuff, good pictures in it. And then the other one I found was Hip Raider, Brat. And y'all know my story, my recent story about Stephen Piercy. So you don't go watch my video with his picture on the thumbnail. And it's got Molly Crow on the back. Some good articles and good pictures in here, and they're intact and very well kept, and I plan to keep them that way. So, on to the vinyl. So, this stack of vinyl that I have here, I got all of it from one person. Um, he sold the whole stack to me for $30. So, I was, or $40, I'm sorry, I'm stoked. Um, the first, I think, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, are Iron Maiden. So, Iron Maiden Killers. Iron Maiden, The Number of the Beast. Iron Maiden, um, Peace of My Mind. Power Slave, yeah. Power Slave. And Somewhere in Time. And Seventh Son of a Seventh Son. And they're all mint condition. Every single one of them look brand spanking new. There's not a scratch, not a dent, not nothing in any of them. And, um, so I'm like way, 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 way stoked to get these. I had no Iron Maiden, and now I almost have them all. <laughs> so I'm happy about that. And that uh, price also came this Aerosmith's very first one. And this one I'll just a little white sleeve. And also, I also got Led Zeppelin physical uh, graffiti, which is the this is the original, not a reissue. It's the original. It's on Swan Song, um, and it is idealistic. Like the vinyl is like brand new. And all three records are here. The sleeves are all intact. Everything is good. Um, the only little problem is that this cover is a little miffed, but 
I can fix that so it, I'm not worried about it. So, not bad for a $40 haul. Um, but that's all I have for this one. I hope you enjoyed my metal update. And, um, if you got anything to comment on, please leave a comment. Uh, thanks for all my subscribers and thanks for all the new ones. Uh, hope to see you soon. Talk to you later.